Why is Pluto no longer a planet? There are officially eight planets in the solar system. Pluto is no longer a part of an exclusive club. What does that mean? Firstly, it means that all the existing textbooks will have to be rewritten. And secondly, it means that Pluto has a new circle of friends. Let's see how it all happened. Where did the controversy start? Pluto was discovered in 1930 by U.S. astronomer Clyde Tombaugh, who was using the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. Textbooks were swiftly updated to list this ninth member in the club. But over subsequent decades, astronomers began to wonder whether Pluto might simply be the first of a population of small, icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. For a long time, Pluto was believed to be larger than Mercury, but after the discovery of Charon, Pluto's largest moon, in 1978, the foundations of its planetary status started to wobble. By studying Charon, astronomers could accurately determine the mass of Pluto and surprisingly found it to be much smaller than Mercury and even our own moon. During the late 20th century, more objects started to be discovered at comparable distances to Pluto's orbit and beyond, one of which, Eris, was even thought to be larger than the ninth planet in our solar system. New rules have been declared. These discoveries led the International Astronomical Union, IAU, to set up a committee in 2005 to consider an official definition of a planet. There were a number of different definitions that were considered, but in 2006, a final all-encompassing set of criteria was identified that knocked Pluto off its planetary pedestal. It needs to be in orbit around the Sun. Yes, yeah, so maybe Pluto is a planet. It needs to have enough gravity to pull itself into a spherical shape. Pluto, check. It needs to have cleared the neighborhood of its orbit. Uh-oh, here's the rule breaker. According to this, Pluto is not a planet. What does cleared its neighborhood mean? As planets form, they become the dominant gravitational body in their orbit in the solar system. As they interact with other smaller objects, they either consume them or sling them away with their gravity. Pluto is only 0.07 times the mass of the other objects in its orbit. The Earth, in comparison, has 1.7 million times the mass of the other objects in its orbit. The decision has been taken. Finally, in August 2006, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, downgraded the status of Pluto to that of dwarf planet. This means that from now on, only the rocky worlds of the inner solar system and the gas giants of the outer system will be designated as planets. The gas giants, of course, are Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. So now we have eight planets instead of the nine we used to have. The new title of Pluto. Don't feel too sad for Pluto, though. It has a new title, Dwarf Planet. Dwarf planets are celestial bodies that only meet the first two criteria in the new definition of a planet that are a planet must be round, a planet must orbit the sun. Pluto is in good company. There are currently more than 44 dwarf planets, but scientists expect more will be discovered over time. Four of the biggest dwarf planets, Pluto, Makimaki, Homia, and Eris are located beyond Neptune. Facts about Pluto. Pluto is about the size of the moon. It takes approximately 248 Earth years for Pluto to make one trip around the sun. Since astronomers discovered Pluto in 1930, it has not completed one trip around the sun. It still has more than 150 Earth years to go. Pluto is so far away that it takes more than five hours for light from the sun to reach it. The sun's light reaches Earth in only eight minutes. Pluto, you will remain in our hearts as a planet. It's not impossible to imagine a future, though, where astronomers discover a large enough object in the distant solar system that could qualify for planethood status. Then our solar system would have nine planets again. Even though Pluto is a dwarf planet and no longer officially a planet, it'll still be a fascinating target for study. And that's why NASA has sent their New Horizons spacecraft off to visit it. Space enthusiasts will marvel at the beauty and remoteness of Pluto, and the painful deep planeting memories will fade. Did you find this information interesting? Did it shock you? Why? 
We would be glad to hear about it in the comment section below. Also, remember to click subscribe to be among the smart and the sexy.